I clicked the button so we have the right title. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> You know what? I'm with all the comments. I'm with you. I'm with all the comments on Chris Dodd. How does this guy have his job? How can he make comments like that and still have his job? This would be like the CEO of Google going, search is bad and uh, yeah, uh, the results should be what I say they are. Chris Dodd's an idiot. Oh wait, he used to be a politician. My bad. Forgot. Who are the biggest donors? Hollywood. Well, you know what, and on top of that, his threat is, for those who are wondering what the devil we're talking about, um, <laughs> okay, Chris Dodd is basically a representative of the MPAA. He's in charge of it. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I'm not so sure he isn't a talking head, given the way he ba 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 bobs. Anyways, basically, when the president came out against SOPA and Congress said... Okay, we're going to get lynched if we keep supporting SOPA, so we're going to run away from SOPA right now. Uh, and the fact that we talked with the tech industry yesterday, well, that doesn't have anything to do with it at all. Uh, but, you know, immediately after that, uh, Dobb came out and said, Okay, we here in Hollywood are going to give you Democrats money because you don't support us. There's two things wrong with that. B... No matter how much money they give them, if they're stupid enough to vote for SOPA, they're not going to get voted for. <laughs> I'm sorry. The American public isn't that stupid. All their opponent will have to do is go, my opponent killed the internet, and everybody will kill them. <laughs> They'll just, it doesn't matter. They will go, my opponent killed the internet, and everybody except the diehards who will vote for that case over. I, I can see a uh, <laughs> campaign ad now. Do you remember a time when the internet was free and open? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? They wouldn't be the only ones running that ad. You know, Every pack on the planet would run it. You know, it's every nonprofit, every, every, it would just be, oh yeah, you remember that thing that killed the internet? They did it. <laughs> so, so nobody's gonna vote for that, especially not, unless until it falls so far off the radar that they can kind of sign it in the middle of the night and nobody will care. But what's even more stupid than this is the threat is I'm gonna vote. Okay, they've already given them more money, and this is particularly in reference to the uh, Obama election campaign. They've already given the Obama election campaign more money than they gave them for the 2008 election. So their, their threat is, we've already given you more money than we gave you last time, so we're not going to give you any more money because you didn't do what we told you. Because if you do that, you're not going to win anyways. Uh, wait, doesn't that sound like lobbyists? <laughs> doesn't that sound like corporate self interest Oh, wait. So, you're buying our poly Oh, wait, we already knew that. <laughs> and yet, somehow, they lost. That's what's even funnier about this. You know, the whole claim is, Washington's for sale, lobbyists can buy anything. Okay. No, can't buy uh, uh, okay, wait a minute. You know, this right here just proved the whole, the whole thing with that thing. The people stood up and said, not on our watch. And guess what? The people defeated money. <laughs> but, but here's the great thing. Speaking, speaking of uh, is Washington bought, the uh, call for a bribery investigation by voters on the whitehouse.gov uh, list for uh, the head of the RIAA, M uh, MPAA, Chris Dodd. <laughs> 25,000 25, signatures were required in order to buy, I think it was like February 2nd or something, you know, it was like a month. Right. Uh, um, they had 25,000 signatures in less than three days. And they, last time I looked, they were currently at 29,000 signatures <laughs> in three days. 
How does this man still have his job? <laughs> I how? I I, I it, it, it makes my head hurt. You know, it's my question becomes is how much dirt does he have on all the other politicians? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 <laughs> Oh, you know what? We're it's not we haven't even been doing this shit for 3 months and we're already all sick of it. How sick of it are we going to be in another 10 months? I'm sick of it after 2 weeks. I I I, I it just ah. Oh. Okay, those of you with IQs understand you're going to just have migraines for the year. I'm sorry. There, there is no cure. It's just just understand you're going to actually feel your, your head imploding. Your, your cerebrum will be trying to kill you. It will be going, no more, please, enough, stop! And anybody that is able to think for themselves <laughs> is going to have a migraine for the next God knows how long until these, come, until these great, great groups like the MPAA go the hell away. <laughs> Uh, 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 okay, we, we should cover a brief <laughs> shot on, 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 I guess, ACTA, the Anti-Counterfeiting Trade Agreement. So you mean the international version of SOPA? Uh, uh, yeah, well, but the, see, here's the funny thing about ACTA. ACTA isn't a law. It's just a, a, an international trade agreement, a lot like the Kyoto Accords. Uh, and the U.S. has already signed it. For those who don't know, uh, it's coming. We signed Kyoto. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we signed ACTA though. Yeah. We signed yeah. ACTA in October last because year. We're the ones that are. Pu we're the idiots that are pushing it. Yeah, I know. It, 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 uh, I believe it's coming up for. They're trying to get Europe to get on board with it now because all of Europe isn't. Uh, but there's no official laws on the books yet for enforcing ACTA. See, first we get the planet on board with ACTA. Which basically states, if anybody anywhere has patented or copyrighting something, then even in places where that patent or copyright law isn't recognized, they're not allowed to innovate. They have to buy somebody else's stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, uh, and there's no laws yet to enforce that. See, first we get everybody to blindly obey this, then we put laws in place to enforce it. So... Why yeah, things like the UN need to go away. Yeah, I <laughs> guess. Uh, you know, I kind of like the idea of just distributing things beyond the control. You know, it, it just... It, it, oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah come, come, come stop us if you can, you know? It's like, that's my general reaction to that shit. <laughs> like, uh, like I said, open source? <laughs> a lot of well, I'd also like to see the, uh, the net and stuff get based on the torrent protocol, but figuring out a way to do that securely is another can of worms. But, yeah. <laughs> see, here's the thing. I would not be... Generically speaking, I'm not against the idea of copyright. I'm against the implementation that it is currently used as. No, yeah, the, what, one side of this shit says we have to get rid of all copyright and patents. They're evil. Uh, I'm actually very in favor of copyright and pan patents. What I'm not in favor of is the Disney cool. effect. You know, Disney came and read uh, something that was in the public domain, like The Little Mermaid and Snow White. And now sues everybody who tries to talk about The Little Mermaid or Snow White, even though the Disney Corporation created neither one of these stories, they just reimagined them, then claimed ownership of them for the next blah blah. <laughs> Parts of lifetime plus another, what, 70 years? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, a reasonable degree. The same thing, uh, like one of the things people are very afraid of with ACT UP is uh, like farm seeds, um, which is you can patent uh, food uh, and drugs. And while the, those patents have a short shelf life, all you have to do is make this little tiny tweak to them and then you extend the shelf life. Like, no, it's the same drug. Tweaking the same drug, tweaking the same genetic engineering for a seed, 
I'm sorry. Okay, you did it. You get your 15 to 20 years. Then bugger off. Ge let the generics come in. You know? Well, well, it's the same way with any, you know, be it copyright patents, whatever. Uh, I think that the shelf life that they have now is just like absurdly stupid. I mean, you know, some of the patents are, what, 15 to 20 years for mathematics if you're going into the computer end of it. Um, and if you're going on the food end or, you know, medicine end of it, you're talking about at a cellular level. How the hell can you patent a freaking, you know, an atom of, you know, whatever? <laughs> well, no, that's the other thing. We're not doing the proper due diligence. I shouldn't be able to go find a cactus in Africa and figure out it has the following properties and then patent that cactus. Yeah. I, I, I can patent the process for synthesizing it synthetically, that specific process, but not the cactus itself. If somebody else can figure out another way to synthesize it or can figure out how to grow it in bulk, they're allowed to compete with me because it's a fucking cactus. <laughs> and, and, you know, on a copyright level, this is why I, I don't know how you feel, but I think the copy, I don't want to say copy left licenses, the more permissive licenses within, you know, anything, you know, your creative comments for your copyright stuff, your copy left. Yeah, I, 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 well, no, and see, that's the thing. Uh, honestly, it, and that's the whole reason we have copy left, which, you know, creative comments, GPL, GPL2, you know, even the LGPL, you know, it, it, it's, it, it's basically going, no. We're going to figure out a way to make this make fucking sense. <laughs> yeah, see, to me, if the best way, like, I'm just taking this as a localized U.S. frame of mind right now. The, the most, the way that makes the most sense right now, because Creative Commons really isn't a copy left, unless you have, you know, do the, uh, it has to be licensed in the same way, form of it. Um, or share alike. It, to me, copy uh, Creative Commons is about the only way that really makes sense for copyright right now. Here's what you can and can't do. Pretty simple. <laughs> well, and really, what that's about is what anybody wants. You know, all the stuff we put up since YouTube's offered it. Uh, I initially. I didn't allow it, but it, after going through and realizing that they put the proper stuff in, everything we've put up has been Creative Commons since. And you know, basically the way it works on YouTube is, you can use it in the YouTube editor and do whatever you want, but YouTube's going to put a source link back to give credit for where you got the stuff from. And and and, th and that was my license anyways. I said, you know what? I realize y'all can steal all of this. There's nothing I can do to stop. I'm just asking. If you steal any part or copy any part of anything here, if you have to like download it and splice it in, put a link back to where it came from so people don't have to go nuts. And really that's built into the top of all our videos here. So it's not like they can't find it unless they gray that out. So it, it, yeah, that's, at the end of the day, that's really all you want. It, it's people, t and, and honestly that helps the net too because I can't count the number of times somebody like steals something else you're like, okay, wait, where did that come from? Like, that's the bit I'm interested in. <laughs> that's yeah. And for those that want to know about copyright and all that stuff, uh, a movie recommendation I would make is one called Copyright Criminals. <laughs> well... Uh, I was... You, uh, you, you know which movie I'm talking I about? I know which one you're talking about, yeah. Uh, I, I'm not a fan of... Um, well, I can't say I'm not a fan of the genre, but um, the overall topic of it is nice it, it gives you some perspective on both sides yeah well and the, the insane thing is say say for like an intro to the show we wanted to use uh i don't know uh I, you know what sopa hasn't been signed so i can go ahead and say it say i wanted to use rad in the cage yep. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, I wanted to use that that phrase of that song. You know, I just wanted, you know, to spite on my rage. You know, it's because like, it, it's appropriate to some of the crap we we go on. How do I get permission to do that? You know, who do I go to? Who do I contact? To even find out how much guild money they would want to allow use of that under what terms? It, it, you know, the reality is that to even figure that out. Because it's not the band, it's somebody else. 
you have to be a lawyer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not even necessarily that people don't want to do that. It's that you've made it so goddamn hard for them too. They say, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna splice it in. Sue me." <laughs> That's what, that's what happens with a lot of people. And... <laughs> oh. Alright, that's about all we can say about that insanity. I'm sure it'll get worse through the year. <laughs> Usually does.